Hey guys, so today this video is going to be, um, sorry my mind went blank, <laughs> I was going to say something, I was going to say there's a helicopter and it's loud so don't, uh, whatever, <laughs> so today this video is going to be, is gay a choice, now if you didn't know, then I am yeah, gay, and what, I'm joking, no yeah I am, um, I've got a girlfriend and yeah it's pretty, it's pretty official, I like girls, but yeah, um, Sorry, my hands are hot. I need to. But yeah, I just basically just wanted to talk about it really. And I wanted to stand up because I'm feeling hyped. And I just wanted to just talk at you about it really and stuff like that. And just have a discussion because I really do want to do more gay, lesbian orientated videos on this channel. Just because that's what I am. And it obviously doesn't define who I am. But there's a lot of people who do watch me because I am gay. And because they do can relate to me so I definitely want to do more videos because I think I've got like literally three videos on it and all the rest is closed so I just wanted to talk about it really because it is it's important to me I'm proud of it I am I'm extremely proud to be the person I am um if you want to know my coming out story and stuff I'll link it around here in the description um if you're interested in that that was taking a while I mean, in that video I think I'm wearing a snap bag as well like I just yeah you know me if you've been watching but yeah um I just wanted to talk about it really because so many people it's just sort of like you could be talking to someone and saying oh you're gay this that and the other and ignorant guys especially say if they're drunk you're on a night out and they're like oh I can change that you know it's just you know you just haven't been done right you just haven't they haven't found the right guy and for me personally it's got nothing to do with that in the slightest like I just don't like men like, I just don't like you I don't like what you got in your pants I don't like your body you got hair you rough you stink of Swear, like I just don't like you. You have a beard, like nah. Let me some smooth, smooth. Let me some skin. You know, so it's just sort of like that. But um, yeah, like for some girls, it has been a choice. Like they've been with guys, and they're like, maybe I'll try girls. They'll be different. We're no different. Trust me. Just to put it out there, we are no different than any man on this earth. If anything, women are worse because we're bitches and we have periods. So we're ten times worse. We have PMT. We have fucking cramps we get mood swings we're worse than men men i think are pretty easy to understand to be honest like i can understand men really well i'm like so my friends i'm like yeah he likes you and he doesn't and he's looking at you and he's not and i just i know men like i can read them they're pretty easy to be honest but women like i don't know at all <laughs> like i know my girlfriend because i can read her mind like a book but women in general i'd be like i don't they were what i don't eh? she was doing what like i don't get it but um for me personally, for me, um, it is not a choice for me. It's never been a choice for me. Ever since high school, I liked guys, obviously. I have had a boyfriend in the past, you know, and I have liked him. I've not actually slept with a man, which I am really proud of, you know, because a lot of lesbians do go through a period where they're like, well, I'll sleep with one and see if it, I like it, and then they regret it, you know, so I'm glad I didn't go as far as to do that. I'm extremely proud of myself for that because the pressure could have been enough to push me, but it wasn't. But, um... Sorry for the mess, I just realised. But, um, yeah, I, to me, if someone approaches you, and because like I said, this video is going to be a ramble, so I am sorry if someone came here to get structured topics and facts. Like, I'm not about that life, that's not me. So, um, I love to talk to the camera, so I love to talk to you guys. But, um, uh, let me actually flip this, because... I know I hate when beauty gurus stare at that screen and I hate when I see me do it and I hate it, it bugs me so I've moved it as well, can't see myself. But um so yeah. <laughs> but for me personally it's never been a choice. I've never been like, I'm just gonna sleep with women now, I'm just gonna have girlfriends, this is what I'm gonna do. Like it's it wasn't like that, you know, I did like guys. When you're younger, you obviously your your hormones are raging in high school, and everybody's developing their sexuality. You know, they're they're realizing what they like, and what they don't like, and they're like, you know, some go that way, some go that way, some stay with both. Some are like, I don't know, some are like, actually, I think I'm a girl, not a boy. You know, like it's just sort of everyone's discovering themselves. And for me, yes, I did like boys, but they absolutely terrified me too much. You know, to the point where I was like, if I slept with one, I'd get an STD, I'd get pregnant and die. I can mean girls. You know, I really, I honestly, legit thought I would just get an STD and die and get pregnant. I was just scared that if a penis even just brushed against me, I'd get pregnant. Like, I literally, boys terrified me. Um, but girls intrigued me. Like, I, I, I like them. You know, like, I get shy talking about it because I'm like, I, 
I just, I just like girls, you know, like I just, they just feel beautiful, you know, and for me that's how I knew it wasn't a choice for me, and you know, and some people like, we could have a whole discussion, like some people think they're gay and then they go with a guy and they're with them for the rest of their life, it's them, some people say sexuality is fluid and for that particular person it could be, you know, so again it is really debatable, it could be a choice, it could not, it could just be how your body's feeling, Hormones are a big part to play with it. Your whole genetic makeup is a big part to do with it. So we can't just say it is a choice or it's not. For me, my experience, for me doing this video, it was not a choice. You know, if if um I was forced to be with a guy and if I had to be with a guy, if I wasn't with a guy I would die. I could be with a guy if I had to, if I was gonna be murdered, you know. Um but inside so something would be missing. You know, and I don't know what it is that women give me or my girlfriend gives me you know because I'm not with all women you know I am singular to one but um I don't know what it is because me me myself I like not masculine women and people gonna say why don't you just be with a guy if you like masculine <laughs> no it's not about that it's this you don't get it you know just saying like um, like a woman like a lesbian oh she's with a woman who looks like a man so she clearly just wants I'm gonna say it bad word I was gonna say the D you know she clearly just wants the D and it's not like that at all you know like my girlfriend doesn't look like a man no way I wouldn't be with a woman who looks like a man anyway she's very beautiful check her out Mama Duke links in the description but um no seriously check her out she's amazing and I just love her so much she's beautiful and she's American so definitely you'll like her then she's got curly hair like me but anyways um like I so said that's another thing where it's like is it, it's a choice like or we could just switch. Seeing as we're with a woman who looks like a man, we just want the D, so why don't you just be with a guy? And if we wanted to be with a guy, we would be. You know, we would be. I would be with a man. I would be in a relationship. And we would be doing straight things. You know, like going to Ikea or something. But for me, it's, it's, it's not... It's women who know what they want and are strong and dominate you know and it just so happens that some men have that feature as well in them like an ipod that feature <laughs> you know so it's like people think oh well he's masculine she's masculine or dominant so why don't you just be with a guy and no i like and a lot of other women like like i would say i'm a femme i've got all these different terms stud femme stem <laughs> you know i would be a femme slash stem which is dominant and feminine at times like obviously but for me it's the the dominant side of a woman that does attract me you know I, I like the dominance I like the sort of just you know what they want you know I I like to <laughs> I'm like trying to pick the right words I like to I'm trying to pick the right words without sounding silly I like to be with someone who can, you know, be protective, can protect me if they need to. And again, it just so happens that men have been given that role. So people are, suddenly think that because I'm with a woman who has the qualities, some qualities of a man, not the physical, but the characteristics of a man, they think that I should be with a man because I'm with a woman who has some characteristics like a man. And the whole point of being a lesbian is you're attracted to a woman, the physicalities of a woman, the the bits that she's got, you know what I mean? And it's like, I don't know, it's just all different types of women and I'm just blabbering, but the point of this video is, for some people it is a choice. There's obviously some people in the world who are like, let me be gay, and then it fucks up for them and then they're like, wait a minute, women are the same as men, you know, <laughs> we're all the same. But for me, it's not a choice, and it's just, I just like women. I just do, and I don't know how to explain it, and I don't want any comments saying about Jesus or God or any sort of religious thing, <laughs> you know. You telling me what you think God's going to do isn't going to change me, because I speak to God every morning, every night, in the evening, having breakfast, walking to work, coming home from work, filming videos. I talk to God all the time, and He tells me that I'm on the right path. So a human person cannot tell me what God is thinking because God is omnipresent, he's, he's omnipotent, he's everything, he's, he's there, he's here and he's nowhere, like he's, your little mind cannot comprehend what the thoughts of God has on me, you know, so that's a whole different thing, but 
to point in this video, like I said, is for some people, being gay is a choice, you know, and that's who they are. And for me, it's really not. Like, I am not changing for nobody. I love my girl. <laughs> you know, she found us woo, and yeah, <laughs> you know, like, that's not going to change anything, you know. Even if I wasn't with her, if I was with someone else or someone else, it would be a woman I would be with. Like, I wouldn't be with a man. You know, it's just the way it is. But yeah, I'm sorry for this video. It's hot, right? I'm just, I'm tired. I think I'm getting a cold. And I just wanted to talk really because I haven't, well, I'm standing, but I was going to say sit. I haven't sat and spoken to you in a really long time. And I do miss these conversations. Even if it is babbles and half of you are like, what are you talking about? I just enjoy it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and tell me your opinion down below. But do you think gay is a choice? Even if you have an ignorant opinion, tell me down below and we'll hopefully teach you the ways that are proper, you know, like teach you that it's not a choice for a lot of people. And the people who do make that choice, then they bring the side down for everyone else and make it look like it is a choice. And then that's where it gets confusing. But for the most part, it isn't really a choice for people who are truly gay. Truly gay. Truly gay. It's not a choice. It's really not a choice. I didn't choose to be this way. Because imagine, imagine the amount of people who would choose to change if their families just absolutely disown them. People wanting to kill them, murder them. Do they really think they would choose that way of life to be ridiculed? No, they wouldn't. But yeah, I'm going to leave it on that happy note. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. My Tumblr, Facebook and Instagram are in the description. And it will be around this video as well. And um, just thank you so much for watching. And like I said, tell me down below your opinion on it. Because I just want to ramble and have a chat about it. And really just chat about it in the comments, you know. And what's your opinion and what do you think? But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I give it so many thumbs. I hope you like it. Like I said again, don't forget to like if you do like and yeah i hope to see you again really soon and you'll definitely see more videos of me during the weeks i try to upload as much as i can but yeah so thank you for watching and i hope to see you again really really soon